Stop the girls. Go home. Pretend this never happened. Oh! I think I peed my pants. Stop motion is different from other forms of animation in that everything you'll see within the shot that moves has to be moved by somebody. So you start with a puppet that has a little metal skeleton inside, so you can pose it and it'll hold its position. And you move it slightly, take a picture, you move it a little bit more, take another picture. And when you knit enough of those individual pictures together and play them, it looks like the character's brought to life. Yeah, of course. Don't get weird or anything. Paranorman is the most ambitious stop motion film ever made. As we got into developing it, it just got bigger. We wanted to take this art form that we all love and just push it as far forward as we possibly could. And that required a lot of characters, that required big action scenes, that required big sets. But it's not just about bigness and scale. It's also up the other end and it's down to the nuance and detail as well. You can look deep and deeper into the background, and we've made everything and detailed everything, right down to the newspaper and the bedspread. And if you look closely, you'll see a taxidermed velociraptor head in the background. There's a richness that just comes through in every frame. There was a lot of stuff in the script that was problematic for stop motion, but that was a reason to do it. We have very high-speed chase sequences with enormous effects. And obviously, that's pretty difficult with puppets. Well, duh. One of the problems is how to get all the performance you need through these puppets. Norman! We use replacement animation to animate the faces where each face is put on, and it's a new mouth shape. So we produce thousands and thousands of different facial expressions. Awesome! It's a lot of extra work, a lot of extra it's steps. It's an insane process. Do I look crazy to you? But in the end, it's extraordinarily rewarding. There's this kind of love and care that's gone into every single little prop or piece of lighting. It all adds up to this great, fantastic whole. Whoa. You take something that is an inanimate object, and by the end of this process, you have something that's truly come alive. <laughs> Are you OK? For me, that's the closest thing to magic that I can imagine. Come on. <gasps> Norman from the makers of Coraline in theaters August 17th rated PG